I think I would have started giving GTs earlier. At that time, it may not seem enough, but uh, in the long run, it uh, really pays off. First is, I think the consistency is the key, more than hard work. Giving more importance to questions rather than reading, you will get to know something after solving questions. Believing in yourself is the most important. Hello and welcome to Cerebral Hum. And with us, we have Dr. Chirag. Dr. Chirag, first of all, congratulations for Thank cracking you. one of the toughest exams across. Thank for you so much. For our viewers, can you just mention a little about you, your All India ranking, where you're from, and most important, what inspired you to go ahead and pick up the medical path? Uh, so, uh, hello everyone. I am uh, Dr. Chirag Chakravarti, and uh, I've secured an All India rank of 223 in this recent INIMA, wow. and uh, 361 in NEET PG 2025. And uh, I'm from Government Institute of Medical Sciences. Uh, that's in Uttar Pradesh and uh, uh, coming to a question so what inspired me to pursue medical field so uh, I think it's a simple uh, my, my answer is quite simple that uh, we can make the most of impact in people's lives by being in medical profession wow and uh, the outcome is uh, very well worth the efforts oh that's that's a lovely and a wonderful thought that you want to touch a lot of lives yeah okay sounds wonderful now, since you are associated with Cerebellum Academy across, uh, a little about how your experience has been and most important, who's your favorite faculty here? Okay. So, uh, I purchased a Cerebellum subscription when I started my internship last year. So, uh, juggling with the hectic duties and uh, the studies have had been quite difficult. But uh, since the Cerebellum had these mission classes, just used to watch those classes and uh, revise the notes and go on with, with our duties. And uh, I think... Uh, most of my friends and uh, uh, we were all, always uh, after Goga sir, yeah, because of him, I think we purchased Cerebellum. Okay. And then we got to know about BTR also, so that was a added bonus. Wow, yes. So I think that was a cherry on the top. Sounds good. And uh, your hard work has paid off. This journey has been flowing. But one thing that if you want to go back and change that you think that would have made a, a bigger difference, what would that be? I think I would have started giving GTs earlier and giving uh, time to more questions okay. and uh, uh, the same thing I've told my juniors also that uh, they should just start doing questions on their duty like collecting blood samples whenever they are on the go they should uh, solve as many questions as possible at that time it may not seem enough but uh, in the long run it uh, re really pays off I feel that's the most important and a lot of aspiring students are watching you so what's that three tip that you would want to give them three tips uh, first is, I think uh, consistency is the key, more than hard work. So uh, even if you're not working hard, if you're consistent, then result will follow definitely. And uh, second is uh, giving more importance to questions rather than reading. Uh, don't waste much time on reading. Then, uh, you know, just start solving questions. Even if you don't know anything, you will get to know something after solving questions. And uh, third is, uh, I think believing in yourself is the most important. If the person does not believe in his or herself, then the, I don't think any faculty, any platform can uh, you know, get you across to the finish line. So, yeah, I think that's, that's all. Oh, that's, that's, that's a wonderful thought. And what tip would you want to give uh, everyone here to handle the exam day pressure, which is a most difficult one? Yeah, I think uh, what uh, really helps is... Uh, uh, you should do whatever you want. I mean, we can uh, watch series, watch movies, talk to your friends, family. I think uh, most people are blessed with the very helpful families. Indeed. And uh, yeah, so uh, uh, I think I mainly uh, just slept on the day before my exam. And uh, uh, yeah, I think that really helps. Listening to music before uh, going to sleep, even bhajans or if you do jap or something, you know, if you're spiritual, meditate or something, whatever brings you calm. So that is the morning. Being calm is the most important thing before the exam. And that's that's very rightly put through because a lot of us, what we do is we panic at the last minute. So yeah. that's a wonderful thought, Dr. Chirag, is just relax because a lot of athletes do the same. If it's a big match that they have uh, yeah. ahead of that, that's the, the relaxation is something that does a wonder. So thank you so much for bringing these lovely thoughts to life for us. It was wonderful talking to you. Keep doing what you're doing and keep inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.